I have a little bit of leftovers from last night. Steak quesadilla and shrimp quesadilla. And I'm gonna be making some differences with my content, specifically the gambling content. I just came back from the casino. I lost $80. Um, you know, that's not a big deal. I've, you know, I lost, I lose way more than that. But I'm just gonna explain from a content creator perspective how I'm gonna start gambling and the differences I'm gonna make. So the first difference I'm gonna be making is I'm gonna limit the amount of money I go to the casino with. So those days of going to the casino with $500, $600, I can't afford to do that. You know, I do that because I'm a gambling addict and that's the money I want to go with because I have more opportunities of playing. Like I can make $100 bets, $200 bets. Y'all see me do that multiple times. But because it's for content purpose, if I'm really trying to focus more as a content gambler versus a gambling addict, which I'm both, I have to adjust and make it make sense. Now, I can't afford to gamble at all, to be honest with you. But this is who I am. This is what I do. So I'm going to manage it a lot properly. I'm going to be going to the casino with $70. Now, the reason why $70 is because I'm going to be betting minimum $2 on one number. Now, if that hits any number, if I bet $2 on any number, that's a $72 a seventy two dollar uh, payback. It's like it's 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 one to thirty five. So for every dollar that I bet and if it hits a number, it's thirty five dollars. Um, so two dollars is going to be 70 plus the two dollars that i'm betting it will come back to 72. so if i if i go to the casino with 70 dollars and i'm betting two dollars on a number i'm gonna have a minimal i'm not gonna be able to bet i'm not gonna have that many bets on but if i hit i'm always gonna get my money back so it makes sense far as in i just gotta hit one number and if i hit i get my money back at, at the minimum and and I'm gonna have a two dollar profit because I'm I'm coming to the casino with seventy dollars, but you know of course a two dollar profit ain't about nothing. But that makes more sense where I'm being more strategic with the amount of money I'm coming in with and the amount of money that I know I could uh, lose. If that makes sense, like well as long as I hit, I don't lose. So I only lose if I don't hit, which of course there's going to be times where I'm not going to hit because that's just gambling. Uh, but the other thing, right, is taking profit. So let's say I go to a casino with $70, which I'll be doing. And let's say I hit, right? I'm not doing the math in my head, but I get a profit. Let's say I get, well, let's say the first bet I make, let's say I come in there and I, I could do the math like this. I, I come in there, I make a $20 bet, right? And I hit, that's a $50 profit because um, I'm going to have $72, but I bet 20. So 20 subtract 72 is going to be, um, 52. So I'm going to have $50 that that's going to be a $50 profit, $50, $52 profit to be exact. I'm, I'm hoping I'm doing my math, right? I'm not the smartest person, but it's definitely going to be a $50 profit, right? I'm going to take that $50 and I'm pocketing it. So I might decide to continue to gamble or I might not. But if I do decide to continue to gamble, I'm not going to gamble with the $50 that I just profited. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm up $120. My math is terrible. 50, 70. I have $120, right? So now, now that I have, so basically I'll continue to gamble with the 70 that I came in with. And if I, let's say I lose from that point forward, I don't hit anything. Well, I still have $50 from the first hit that I, I got. I'm walking away with $50 and I only lose 20. That's how I'm going to do my vlogs.